have on not just the other cornerbacks? How much easier does he make it for them? Um, well, I don't know if he makes it any easier for them, but um, he does have a I mean, his ability to get down the field. You guys have seen it uh, a bunch of times. Uh, the one I think sticks out to everybody on that big deep post that came out of there. Um, it is a skill to be able to run full speed downfield and then still be able to turn your head and go up and find the ball. A, find it, and then B, go up and, um, you know, any one of those opportunities when the ball's thrown down the field, we want to go up and catch it, not just knock it down. And even in OTAs when we were just shooting balls off the jugs and throwing deep balls down there, his ability to go up um, and get it is, is very impressive, and it showed up. Um, it's not always the easiest, especially if you're not really in a great position. Um, any DB, if the guy runs by you, you know, and then there's a certain amount of panic that can happen because your well, ball got ran by you. And so now you're running as fast as you can. And then the in your mind, you're like, okay, I can't look. I don't want to look. I can't look because the guy's going by me. He's going to catch it for a touchdown. Um, so his, his I'm this, I would say, calmness and his ability to run full speed and then still at the same time get his head around and go up and play, is, it's, been, it's been great to watch. Great example for all the other players. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's easy to do, um, but yeah, it's been cool to watch. And hence, he's gotten his hand on a bunch of balls down the field. It's been good. Yeah. Good. That makes sense. Yeah, totally. Yeah. How's Tavarius Moore looking? I mean, he, hasn't, he wasn't here last yeah. year. I would say, we were just talking about that the other day. Um, when I got here last year in the spring, he, that's when he, when he, when he injured uh, the Achilles. So I only had a small, as far as in the scheme and playing, um, he was around all the time. So I got to know him very well. And then I think when we came out for OTAs in the spring, he was still kind of getting, trying to feel that out. Um, and anytime you go through an injury like that, it's gonna take you some time. Um, because now you got you got the one that's injured, and then you're trying to compensate for the other one. Um, so he fought through the spring, but I would say right now we're seven practices in. Um, arrow up for him for sure, just in the scheme, movement wise. Um, haven't seen any any hesitation from him or any you know any uh, evidence that that's really bothering him. I mean, it's more maintenance right now than it is anything else, but um, he's put himself in a really good spot. Yeah. Of Charvarius and E Man, we're just talking about swapping tips between off man and press mm -hmm. coverage. You know, how have you seen the relationship between those two? Yeah, develop? I think the relationship from the start's been pretty good. Um, and then anytime you're out there, and the more time you spend together now that we're in camp and right in the middle of it, it only gets closer. Um, it's been really cool uh, to watch. And I wouldn't say just with the two of them, but both of them in the room and their relationship with all the younger guys. Um, it's been, it's been really neat to watch. Um, they've been great for the room. I mean, you guys know E-Man. Um, but to get Charvarius in there and then put those two together and then, uh, <clears throat> you know, we're, it's training camp. We haven't even played a game yet. So um, I'm hesitant on projecting anything, but um, they've, they've both played at a very high level here so far. So um, just keep, keep going here. We've got a long way to go. Stay competitive with each other. Yeah, I think everybody's competitive with each other in that room. Not to mention the rest of the defense and the offense and everything else. But yeah, there's always in that room. Um, yeah, you want to be the you want to be the leader every day you come off the field. So um, that always helps. Well, when Jason Barrett comes back, um, you might have a little bit of a log jam there. Plus, that's you, a good problem yeah, to have. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then you have Denard who playing on the inside. I know Barrett has done some slot yeah. corner. Is this going to be a year where it's you might be a little interchangeable with some of those guys moving outside in? Yeah, I would say that discussion will come when he's back. Uh -huh. um, and we'll just see. We've got to play three preseason games yet. Um, we got a lot of practice to still go. And then we'll see how that shakes out first. And then when JV comes back um, and he's ready to go, then we'll, we'll depend probably on who we're playing. And, but the, the ability to have those discussions um, That'll be, that'll be, I look forward to having those discussions when it comes. I, I couldn't project on how that's going to work out. Um, I would wait until he got back and then we got him in the groove and uh, see what each game plan is and what D'Amico's thinking about as far as what we're going to play in the game. And then you would find the best spots for 
all three of those well, guys, or four or five, or whatever it ends up being. Mm -hmm. you know. What are you seeing from Sam Womack so far? Yeah, he's coming. Um, really excited for him. Um, playing inside, he got some outside reps. He got outside reps. He got both in OTAs, and then got um, been trying to get him just to get a grip on the inside piece. Um, uh, super intelligent. Um, he understands the game. Uh, it happens really fast inside, so that takes some time. Uh, but I would say every single day he's been out there. Went with the ones the other day. I mean, everybody's going with the ones. Everybody's really going with the twos. Um, so the more reps we can get him in there, I think it's just going to help him. And then we'll just see how that plays out. But i um, very, very pleased with where he's at. Um, coming out of OTAs. And then I think it, was, it wasn't yesterday. It was two days ago. That long practice. That would have been on... I don't even know what day it is. Tuesday. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that Tuesday, the long one. Yeah. yeah. So played half the practice inside and then um, gave E-Man a break there. Mooney was out that day. So then um, he went outside and he doesn't even blink, which, you know, in this in this profession, in our room, the more you can do, um, that just helps your cause. So uh, he's on a good track. Got a long way to go, but he's on a good track. He's he's five nine, but his arms are essentially as long as Richard Sherman's. Yeah, the combination. It's yeah, be really good for that. So. Yeah, visually, you're right. Yeah, he does. He he's he doesn't have the length as far as I should say height. Uh -huh. um, that maybe most people would be like, man, he's too short to play in there. But when you watch him play, I mean, even to this point right now, just where we are in camp, OTAs. I, I don't. I, I can't think of a play what was. He looks like he's small. He still has the length. He can put his hands on people. Um, he's been decent at judging the ball down the field. He hasn't really gotten that many opportunities. He got one good one in one-on-ones the other day. Uh, was actually in a good spot. Great throw and catch. Um, but, yeah, I'm not concerned about that piece at all with him. Yeah. What about the second-year guys, Ambry and Diamador? How much have they progressed? Yeah, I like where they're going right now. Um, you know, when you get to the second year, you as coaches, um, you want to see a, you want to see a, a big jump, um, but again at the same time, yeah. Ambry ended up playing at the end of the year as you guys, as, as we all know. Um, Demo played early. Um, I think both of those exposures for those kids um, definitely helped them coming in. Um, we got a, the way the room is stacked up right now. We this is gonna all of them. Um, I would say it's wide open. Um, so we still got a long way to go. Uh, they're, they all know that. You know, we got, I think we got 17 guys in our room, and you know, we only got a certain amount of spots. So um, I like where they're trending, especially to this last. That was a three-day block. After that last three-day block, I feel I feel good about what they've done to this point. Um, Demo had a good day yesterday. Um, At had a couple balls the day before go over his head, but. It's part of the game out there. Just got to bounce back and keep playing. But uh, both of those guys trending in the right direction right now. We'll see how it ends up. This one on ones look like Ambry out muscled uh, Juwan Jennings for one. I think it was yesterday. That, um, yeah, yeah, that was yeah, yeah, that was yesterday. Yeah. Has he? Got, we talked about him needing to get stronger last year. Has he made made strides in that regard? Um, yeah, I would say stronger and just yeah, with stronger obviously comes more mass. Um, and uh, putting on the more weight. So just the off season, the work he did in the off season, um, definitely will pay off for him to an extent. I mean, he's not obviously gonna be a huge, huge guy, but um, some more weight on his frame definitely helped compete. He helps confidence wise too. Um, even though we got the pads on, you know, you don't, that doesn't not, that's not gonna show until the first preseason game when you're actually letting loose. So we'll see what that looks like when we get in the game. E-man a bit. Heavier muscle-wise this year as well. Um, yeah, I mean his frame. I mean he is what he is. I think for the most part, um, I couldn't even I couldn't even tell you as far as the weight and the muscle mass that goes on him. I would say I'm not really concerned about it either. Um, he knows how to take care of his body. I mean he would be the poster child for hey, this is how you go through a routine. He's got all that stuff wired, so um, he's in a good spot. Yeah. Would you say this is the most depth and talent you've had in that room since you've been here? Um, yeah, I would, I would agree with that. Yeah, the way it's stacked up right now, like I said earlier, uh, we're going to have, it's going to be, it's going to be tough. Um, once we get to the end of it, it's what you want. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to be easy. Um, 
Still got a long way to go. Um, really pleased with the whole room. Uh, really blessed. Got a bunch of great, great young men in there. They all love competing. They all love being in the meeting room. Um, and then to put that with the rest of the defense, the linebackers, the D-line, everybody we got in there, it's been, it's, it's really cool. Um, we'll see how it goes, but once you get past Eman and Mooney, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much wide open. So we'll see how that plays out. You mentioned wanting to see a big jump from the from the year two guys. I mean, you just hope that, right? They've been here right. for a year, um, and then you want them to pop in there and look like they've been here right. for a while. It doesn't happen like that typically. Um, so where they are right now, pleased. Yeah. They're, they're moving in the right direction, and it'll be up to them and all of us to see how that goes here once we start playing games. And I shouldn't even talk about them. It's not games. I mean, we put right. a lot, just as much weight on the practice and the work that's going in. And when we get to the games, I mean, the biggest thing that happens in the games is just the physicality part of it. I mean, you're right. throwing and you're going to the ground. So um, we'll see what that looks like when we get I just wanted there. to ask you about Talanoa. He's the, uh, another second-year uh, yeah. and he's yep. had a lot of reps with the ones. What are you seeing from him? Yeah, um, there's, not a, there's not many guys that work and spend as much time in the meeting room as he does. So it's not, it doesn't shock me um, that it's shown up. Um, DB, Daniel Bullocks has done a great job with him starting from last year. And um, he, uh, he's got his hand up in the meeting room more okay. than anybody does. So, I mean, he wants to know every single thing. Sometimes it's almost to the point like, hey, man, dude, don't worry about it. Just go, just let's just see, just go play. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm not shocked by that at all. Uh, he's in, the, I think he's in the same mix as everybody else. Okay trying to find out who's going to step out there with Jimmy. Um, and I wouldn't say there's a leader in the clubhouse right now. They're all getting mixed in there. Um, and we'll see how that goes here as we keep going through. We, it's been 12 minutes. We haven't, asked, <clears throat> we haven't asked about Jimmy. He might be your best DB. Is he one of the more underrated DBs in the league? I would agree with that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where he's rated. Sure. Yeah. And there was um, a poll that came out this offseason that didn't have him in the top 10 uh, of safeties in the NFL, which I yeah, thought was surprising. I, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't even. I would never have seen that list or yeah. seen that poll or wouldn't really care about it either. But. Um, <laughs> Yeah, fortunate to have him. You guys, I mean, you guys watched him more. I mean, been around him more than I have. Um, incredible young man, incredible leader, incredible vet. Great example for everybody that comes into our room. Everybody comes into our defense. Guy never changes. Same guy every day. Um, you think sometimes he comes in and he looks like he just got in the league. I mean, that's how hungry he is. He prepares like that. He meets like that. Um, he can go down and cover a wide out. Um, I mean, he's yeah fortunate to have him. I noticed in the one-on-ones he warms up with the corners. Is that his idea, your idea? Yeah, he wants as much work on the wideouts as yeah. he can get. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So he's always comes over there with us. Yeah, so that's good. Thanks so much. You got it.